I don't know. That was a weird one. And uh, and that that's the only thing of any review that's ever stuck with me. I cannot remember another single review. I cannot congratulate you enough on this, what you all managed to accomplish in a short amount of time, I guess a 10 day shoot and just the two of you together, I, it was absolutely fascinating. I wanna keep it positive because I know a sense of humor is a large part of this. You guys didn't work together long, but James, I'll start with you. Is there anything that you learned about Sharon that you thought to yourself, you know what, if this shoot were any longer, I can see this getting on my nerves a little bit too. <laughs> <laughs> Was it in the letter of Sharon? Uh, ooh, oh, she did try and steal uh, my jokes. Quite, nah, my jokes. No, you can <laughs> listen. I, it's look. It's not. It's not rare, but it's not. It's not completely uncommon to want to work with somebody for such a long time, admire them from afar, and then in person, kind of go, ah, well, it was all right. Do you know what I mean? Or you know, the working experience was good, but personally, they were a bit like, well, whatever, you know, or even just downright like that. But um, she delivered. She delivered on yeah. all fronts. She's a just. She's an amazing performer, and um, we know she's a great creator as well. But like, I yeah. just enjoyed getting to work with her massively, and she's hilarious off the camera as well. So, really, we just got to kind of do the sequel, right? Yeah, I can't. I'd love to say something horrible about him. I can't really. I I, <laughs> I started off being, you know, sort of intimidated a little bit because you know he's a film star and and I've admired him for years and. I, I I I genuinely felt like a bit sort of out of my depth and uh, and nervous, and that went like after uh, day one because he's so lovely and uh, and I kind of liked him more at the end because he, he is in incredibly funny and generous and Thanks, and, and I felt like you know I I sort of learned a lot as well like uh, it was a ten day shoot it was absolutely nutty and you 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 could have you you could have started you know going a bit crazy yourself but like. He didn't go nutty, so I thought, oh, well, I'm watching him, and he seems like this is how you play it, and, and that's how I played it. So, well, I, James, I don't think you get enough credit for how funny you are in general. I know Sharon, you're a lot of a lot of what I've known you for is your comedic chops, but the two of you together, I want the sequel not only to see if these two survive, but I'm genuinely concerned for your son because he's kind of he's yeah. kind of <laughs> overlooked in the movie. That young actor, there were moments where I thought. Oh, nobody's paying attention. This poor kid has heard so much stuff. I know. Uh, it's okay. He's only going to be messed up in about 20 years from okay. now. The, the, <laughs> the immediate future is rosy. I don't know. I think I sometimes look at kids who've got it all perfect and their parents are bending over backwards not to let them hear stuff. And I'm like, mm -hmm. that kid is, I don't want to say anything offensive because I'm every example I'm thinking of is offensive to someone at the moment, but that kid is, <laughs> he's like one sandwich short of a picnic. I don't know, he's <laughs> he's going to be more trouble than the kid that had all the shit. And I'm like, yep. I always feel like, you know, I did not have the perfect upbringing whatsoever, but I've kind of got it together. Do you know what I mean? Yep. I think I think we try and protect them too much and we actually end up messing them up a little bit. No, listen, does that mean that the kid in this show is treated correctly? Probably not. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I'm not that worried about them. I know, I know they're gonna wrap me real quick. Uh, in light of, you guys have lines where I'm thinking, oh, they can't recover from this. They just said the meanest thing to each other. Oh my can God. You, can you all recall maybe in a review or something, Sharon, I'll start with you quickly. What is the meanest thing someone said about maybe a past performance that actually took you some time to get over? Oh, I can totally remember, but it's so horrible. I don't know if I can say it. <laughs> There's this weird journalist who, uh, who uh, I was following on on, on Twitter, and uh, he mentioned in the review of my show that he that I was following him on Twitter, and he said when I watched her show, it was like uh, he goes, and I was excited she was following me, and I watched her show, and it was like fancying the girl in class only to discover she bad breath, oh! and then he and then he contacted me, he DM'd me afterwards, and went forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. And it was so weird that I sort of didn't care. I didn't care what he said because it was so freakly weird. Um, I can't think of anything. The, uh, my, do you know what? I forget most of it, which is probably a really right. good sign. But I think the one thing that has ever stuck with me was about my physical appearance, which was, uh, I remember, I think it was 
I can't remember what it was like a broadsheet British newspaper, like not the kind of tabloids, like one of the guys, one of the ones that's meant to be like good, right? And uh, the first thing that they said about me in the review was the tubby James McAvoy. And I was like, what? I was like, what? my Lord. I was like, would that be okay? I don't know. That was a weird one. And, uh, and that, that's the only thing of any review that's ever stuck with me. I cannot remember another single review. Anyway, the Tubby James Michael, there you go. 